Hi folks, welcome back to the B29 restoration project. Here we've got the B29 right side up and pretty much it is ready for its carbon reinforcement and fiberglassing on the top side. I didn't really take any time to video strip planking the, the nacelle tops because I already did it once on the, the outboard wing panels and didn't think anybody needed to see it a second time. Uh, like I said, right now it's all prepped. It's ready to go. I'm going to start fiberglassing this thing here pretty quickly. Uh, typically what I do is I cut oversized pieces and I write down all the dimensions and I just cut everything all at once. That way it's ready to go, which I have sitting here. I've got, uh, I think it's the wings. No, I'm sorry. I said cell pieces, the wings, forward fuselage, rear fuselage, and then the horizontal stab. And then I've also got the carbon fiber reinforcement stuff here. Um, one trick that I do on carbon fiber, especially if you're going to cut it on the bias, which the bias is having it to where the weave is 45 degrees to the length of the part. As you can see, I've got some orange masking tape around. This trick works even, it works really well even on just regular, uh, if you cut it length or width wise with a 90 degree uh, weave orientation and basically you just put the masking tape where you want to cut it and then you cut down the middle of it in this case i use a very thin i believe it's a quarter or a three eighths inch wide masking tape and you just cut it down the, the center of the tape and what it does is it keeps the the, the carbon fiber or fiberglass or kevlar so whatever you want to use it on from fraying on the edges so it holds it together and then what i'll do is i'll actually put a good bit of epoxy on this to kind of hold it in place and then i'll go through and i'll cut the rest of the masking tape off that way it's free to to move about and form however you need it to and yeah that's pretty much that I, another thing i like to do is just take little two inch chip brushes and you'll see here i've cut the the bristles down to where there's only about a half of an inch of bristles left this just keeps it from soaking up a lot of excess epoxy and it gives you uh, kind of a stiff brush bristle to where if you need to to pat something down into a corner you have a nice stiff edge instead of like really floppy bristles it also helps get rid of a lot of uh loose bristles inside of the brush so that's that's pretty much it now it's just a matter of getting to work